Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing, obviously, I mean, you already read the title, but still, we're going to be doing a Duelist Nexus opening. I believe my first Yu Gi video to be uploaded, which kind of insane. Because <laughs> this is the one game which I actually have played before, and sometimes not physically, but sometimes I do like to play Master Duel. I, re I used to really enjoy Duel Links, but. Then they released Master Duel and, <laughs> and I just kind of got forgotten about I feel like, you know, it still has its appeal, you know, its ni niche appeal. But I feel like for the most part, people are like, why, the fuck would I, why would I play the least updated one versus the modern one? So I kind of feel like they took pretty much everything away from it. <laughs> Anyways, how about let's get started. This is going to be the... The first uh, main set, I believe, which has uh, quarter century rares, obviously, celebrating its 25th anniversary, as you can tell. It's kind of insane if you think about it. I feel like so many TCGs are reaching their milestones right now. Like, I think, uh, oh, we got an Ultra right away. Let's go. We got Pirelli shirt. <laughs> Man, I love the Pirelli uh, monsters. I actually kept, I opened one box of Amazing Defenders. And I actually ended up keeping the Pirelli. Someone offered me like 45 bucks for it at one point. I was like, oh shit. But no, I kept it. Now it's like 20 bucks. So <laughs> maybe I should have. But, you know, I, I don't know. I just kind of, I really like it. And it kind of reminds me of my cat. So I was like, oh fucking. I'll keep it as a good luck token. Maybe I should have it uh, like here. <laughs> as a good luck token. I do try to keep uh, a card from each game that I open like my personal favorite one always at the very least so you know maybe if i find something here i am kind of hoping to pull a i don't even know i think this one has starlight right new world formation well, what is this just a super yeah it's just a super oh i got excited <laughs> don't get me don't get me excited uh over exaggeration i think this one has uh, both uh starlight which is kind of the one i'm hoping to pull sorry I always try to put the super on top. Or I'll take a quarter century rare, which I believe are pretty much, I think I read, just as rare as collector rares, which I've only ever gotten one of. <laughs> so, uh, kind of sad. I didn't record it, but it was, uh, uh, what's it called? The Ogdub is the snake one. Such a cool design. I really like the art. New World Formation. So what archetypes are in this one? Evil Sword, oof. That's rough. Jurassic Power. That's cool that they're giving, uh, what's it called? Dinos. Dino support. Ooh, what the heck? A new Altergeist monster. That's crazy. Man, Altergeist used to be so hated before. I can't believe it. Now it's like pretty much, uh, I mean, I guess that's just, you know, how power creep goes. Huh? With the, all the new shit they keep pumping out, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to keep up. I can't even imagine, you know, if you're actually like really into it. I think I was reading a chart where they were comparing the top like 10 games, like price wise, and I couldn't believe it. Pokemon was like number nine or 10, which uh, I believe is because Pokemon, how they do it is how they, you know, rationalize the higher price cards. Cause you don't really need them, you know? It's not like Yu-Gi-Oh where a secret where is a unique card. So, you know, you need to buy it and you need three copies. <laughs> Pokemon, usually the more expensive cards, like, if we're talking about, you know, illustration rares or, I don't know, the, what's it called, the special illustration rares, or even ultra rares and all, even ultra rares, yeah, like, even ultra rares are not unique, like, I think the highest rarity you'll ever need for a Pokemon card is just a double rare, so, it's one of those things that you're just like, oh, so that makes sense why it's so cheap, but I couldn't believe Yu-Gi-Oh was, like, number two, I was like, oh. man, that's crazy, <laughs> it makes sense. Because like I said, I mean, just imagine, you know, if a deck, hypothetically speaking, has, I don't know, 15 secret rares, you are absolutely screwed because that's, you're running 40 cards and then a 15 card extra deck. So that's just barely making a component. And you already spent Chaos Angel, for example, I think it was going for what, 60, 70 bucks. Hypothetically speaking, let's say you need three. Yeah, that's $200 for three out of 55 cards. <laughs> that's that's kind of insane <laughs> diabolica synchro overtop 
Namilir, uh, Namilir, oh, this is a new archetype, I don't recognize it. Uh, Breath of the Tristina, very nice. And then we got, oh, I think, I, yeah, I think I read that one. I do like in Yu-Gi-Oh that it's in the middle. I think every other game usually has it in the, oh, actually, no, Magic also does it like that. But most games, I feel like, have it at the end. So I kind of like that it's in the middle. Oh, shit, I scared that. Shit, or me, it was just my cat. <laughs> he was coming downstairs. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully, we can pull something good. I don't even know if the ultra was good. It's um, what archetype? Oof, it's rough. That's a, I think that's um, new archetype is probably not that good. I feel like Yu Gi Oh. That's usually how they do it. Either they go. Oh, nice. No, they're just comments, right? Yeah, they're just comments. Let me go through them still. As always, the first video I do like to kind of take my time with the cards a little more. Evil Typhoolis, Anik Mel Candle, Ultimate, uh, well, what the heck? They brought, this is Rosatic, right? Or Sartic, sorry. What the, Dryton and Rosatic combined, that's crazy. I do like uh, sometimes also not just playing on Master Duel. Sometimes I would go on, you know, unofficial Sims. <laughs> Konami, if they hear this, we're gonna be like, what the heck? I feel like that's why they implemented Master Duel. I feel like they felt like they were losing a lot of people. Because a lot of people don't like, you know, a lot of people who are into the actual TCG. They didn't really like Master Duel. Or, sorry, Master Duel. They didn't really like uh, Duel Links. Because, you know, it was a quote-unquote slower version. You only had three zones. You know, the cards, you didn't even have all the mechanics at first. Like, I think they are barely at the link mechanics, which I think is the newest one, right? Yeah. So they're finally cut up, but, you know, it took them this long. So for the people who are used to playing, imagine you're used to playing it, you know, in your locals every day, every week, whatever. And then you're playing Duel Links with, <laughs> you know, cards from the original series. It's like, okay, well, yeah, a lot of people obviously are not going to like it. And then Synchro over it. That's a cool learn. So I do get why they did it, because they probably wanted to capture those people as well. And I actually wonder, I mean, obviously, I'm guessing Master Duel right now is blowing Duel Links out of the water at this point. Also, just because of the whole crafting thing, that was, that was rough. <laughs> Duel Links, that was fucking rough, I'll, let me tell you that. Like, literally, dupes were so useless. Ooh, that's cool, new Red Eyes Dragon. Let's go. Where is this? Uh, they dart bulky as a cool art. Unchained soul. Got red eyes black meteor dragon. Nice. They always <laughs> red eyes black. Hey, I mean that's kind of creative. I'll give them that. Also a reference to its fusion with uh the I forgot the fusion one, the dra meteor dragon one. I forgot the actual name of it, but it's like a three point five k beat stick pretty much. Very nice. We've only gotten, what, one ultra? So a kind of a slow start, so hopefully you guys are <laughs> entertained by my discussion, at least not the cards so far. Hopefully we can get a, is there even secrets on this one? Yeah, I believe so. I think it's, yeah, pretty much just a regular set. Like just imagine a main set, but it has Jurassic Power. And then we got Magnum the Reliever, very nice. But it has the quarter century verse that I, you know, mentioned. I do think there is one card that is unique rarity, uh, quarter uh, secret rare or something like that. So if it's unique, that's and if it's good, that's the main thing. If it's good, like if it's a triple tactic type of card, yeah, it's over. That thing is gonna go go for like seventy bucks. Cornfield Coatl. Oh, that's cool. Inspired by. So I did read that. That new type of monster. Dilution monsters. I did want to see one. I'm guessing I probably skipped a bunch. But, you know, I am, I wanted to see what the heck. If this card battles a monster, neither, neither can be destroyed by that battle. Oof, that's rough. They, did they seriously make a battle focus mechanic in twenty in the year of our Lord 2023? <laughs> Oh man, I feel like that's gonna be dead on arrival. Oh no. Are you serious? Um, I wonder if all the illusion monsters are gonna have the millennium, right? That's kinda cool. 
I think that's kind of a nice little detail. Pool belt, name Lara Louvre, or yeah, right, Louvre. Emergency, and we, what the heck, another jar. That's cool, what does this one do? So it's a flip one, <laughs> dead on the right one, but it's a flip one. Excavate the, any number of cards from the top of your deck up to the numbers of your opponent controls. Add one to your hand. Cool. I mean, it's nice, but the fact that it's a flip effect makes it kind of dead. But, um, man, that's kind of... I don't know how I feel about Illusion Monsters now. I feel like that mechanic in this day and age is not that good. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. If you're an actual, you know, player, please let me know if I'm missing anything, if they're good or... Because I feel like nowadays, every monster, or like every archetype that's worth anything, like even rogue, you know, tier ones, have effect removal. They don't rely on... What the heck? <laughs> I literally just got this one. Aqua Chorus Round. They don't re really... <laughs> what the heck? That's such a cute little Star Destroyer. Or Worm. Nemleria. I like the archetype design. Man. Ah, uh, man. Oh, but yeah, sorry. I feel like most archetypes have removal like not even just monsters and like spells i feel like not nowadays spells have to say oh you know search one destroy one type of stuff <laughs> to make it viable like oh you can search one of this archetype from your deck to and add it to your hand whatever and then i'll oh, banish it from your graveyard and just target one card in your field destroy it or target one card in your opponent's field destroy it type of stuff so oh, i don't know Oh, this is a cool one. This is, uh... Oh, that's funny. I thought all the... Uh, what's it called? They're called... Yeah, the... Not the Infernoble. The Noble Knights, yeah. I was gonna say, what the heck? Why am I thinking Infernoble? The Noble Knights. I thought they were all the Knights of Legend, but I think that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> they probably already did, already did them all, so they probably have to expand to new lore. And I did forget my sleeves. That's why I'm not sleeving the Ultras, so... Again, that's on me, but hey, what can you do? The Cuckoo Commando. What the heck? This is such a funny art. Yeah, I don't know. How do you guys see the potential of Illusion Monster? Do you guys think they could actually make it? Like, have an impact? Maybe not meta, but at least somewhat relevant. Because, I mean, obviously, they still have effects. It's not like they that's their only effect. You know, it's not like just all... They can't do shit. It's like, but I feel like this is Spirit Monsters. Like, I feel... <laughs> I mean, not really, because Spirit Monsters... Their, their type literally conditions them and makes them actively worse. Like, it's so hard to play with, uh, what's it called, with spirits in general. Well, that's cool with that. First of all, I love the art. And second of all, we got a third ultra. I believe this is going to be our final ultra. Man, that kind of sucks, but, well, this is one of these kind of cards. I was going to say, is it? Yes. So it's a Tistina card. That's cool. What is this? During your main phase, you can send one monster from your deck to your graveyard. If your opponent controls three or more, special summon from your hand or, or deck. God, field spells nowadays are fucking crazy, dude. I remember when field spells were like, you know, like yummy type of stuff. See, like I said, since I played dueling since the start, I remember when those field spells would actually matter. Obviously, I'm not talking about, you know, 1990, you know, 99 or whatever. But... I'm talking about like doings. <laughs> Those field spells would actually like Kaiba would have a skill where he would just start with mountain, and I I swear that would actually make so much of a difference. You could not run him over. <laughs> oh man, good old times. We got Behemoth. I feel like this is an evolution of an already existing card. Super Heavy Samurai, nice. They dare a book. Split Mirror of the Underworld. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, that's cool. Monarchs are still getting love. You can tribute summon this card by tributing one monster your opponent controls. And one tribute, oof, that's rough. One tribute monster summoned you control. Uh, I feel like that makes, that kills it. Aqua quarters round. Then Larry Louf. I feel like there are so many mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh that just, you just can't, you know, revive. Just because of how the game has evolved. Like I'm thinking, you know, Gemini, I'm thinking tribute summoning. Like I feel like unless you make some, you know, insane broken spell, like field spell type of stuff. Like even Catalysis Field, which is a super pretty good, you know, field spell for Gemini. Like it didn't do shit. Like yeah, you can run them kinda niche, but you're not really gonna win, realistically speaking. 
Science of the Tistina, more Tistina cards, that's cool. As always, you, so one of Yugi's cards always has to get a remake somehow. No, not what's your name. Guess so what? King of, normally it's King of Mythical Beast. So this time it's King of Mythical Claws. Nice. Next one could be Gazelle, the King of, no, because they have to stick with uh, Mythical. I don't know. Of Mythical Might or something. There you go. Konami, send me a check. Vera Kalanta, Scrap Iron, Sacred Statue. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little throwback to the 5Ds anime. Yeah, how would you guys make uh, Illusion Monsters bet good? Or even the other ones, if you want to talk about the other ones. Gemini, you know. <laughs> that would be a huge one. But, you know, I mean, it's. I feel like that's kind of the effect of, first of all, having so many summon mechanics. And second of all, I mean, being 25 years old, I mean, you're obviously going to have mechanics that just are outdated. And just don't really make sense. I do like, though, that they keep trying to make them relevant. Like, they keep printing cards. Like, they don't just give up on them. Well, that's cool. And for Noble Knight, Turn oh, Turpin. Pseudo Samaros. What the heck is that on? Click and Echo. And then Over Exaggeration. New Worst. I believe, yeah, no. I didn't see this one. New Worst. Is that Kashtir? Oh, yeah, it's Kashtir. What the heck? I have not gotten a single Seeker. What the heck is going on? Is there no Seekers in this one? I mean, you do only get two, so to be fair. I'm not too surprised. What archetype are you guys most excited? I'm seeing a lot of like pretty good uh like archetypes I haven't seen in a minute. Rusati or Sartic, I still have trouble pronouncing it. Infernoble Knight, new archetype. I'm guessing the what's it called? The Tistin archetype is a new one. Again, I don't know how I feel about the illusion monsters, but I guess it's something new. What is this? Is, are you a hero? No, it's obviously. Why would it be a hero if it doesn't have the word with that word hero? Looks like a like it could be an elemental hero though. Greed jar, realm resonance, diabolica. I swear some of the common art goes so hard. Altergeist, oh more altergeist support. Very nice. I also saw that Pirelli got support, which I think I, it's gotten support one in the last like three sets, but I think it makes sense. It's a, you know, new archetype. I do like that when they do that, because I feel like when they print a new archetype and they just leave it in the dust for like a year, it, you know, kind of makes it feel kind of worthless. You have to store the cards for a year to make them viable eventually. Like what? Double headed Dino King Rex, Mikanko Spirit Walk, you will start Leos. Or Lyos, sorry, I don't know. Ooh, uh, of course, why, why am I surprised? If there was gonna be, if there was a uh, Gazelle, there was gonna have to be a Chimera. There also has to be a Performant, I'm guessing. Unchained Soul, Who Belt, Nemleria, Breath of the Tristine. Is this not, what the heck? Oh, no, it's not, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, is that not literally the Ultra I got? No, it's a different one. Two field spells though, Ooh, looking rough for the common one. I'm guessing no one's gonna run that one. Oh, sorry, you can through my cat. <laughs> I swear, he's just scratching the carpet. Hopefully you guys can hear it, but anyways. Unchained Soul, Synchro World. Is that Yusei? Do you think that's Yusei? Let me know. We got Beta Evolution Pill. What the hell? Beta Evolution. Another Chimera. Nice. Synchro Overtop. Doomstar Oka. Ultra Heist. And Diabolica. So again, still no secret. Not looking good, boys. Not looking good. How many packs were there? Uh, what, three? Nice. I think the next main set comes out until what? Uh, October. That's crazy. Konami actually does stick to their <laughs> three month schedule. Actually, no, I think they have a, a, mid, a middle set. I was going to say a mid set. Oh my God. A middle set. I think the fire one, but I don't think I'm getting that one. I did look at some of the cards on that one and I didn't really see anything that interesting. Because I saw it going for 50 bucks. I was like, what? Why are you 50 bucks? 
So I looked into it and I was like, oh, that's all. <laughs> Talking about, okay, you know what? Let's make it exciting. Let's see this one. Daku Commander, save it for last. Because, I mean, they lift us until the last five packs. That's crazy. Uh, Greed Jar, then Larry Louvre. There we go. Oh, that's cool. What the heck? They've got more runic support. Wasn't runic like top tier for a while? I think they banned some cards though, or limited some cards. That feels spell is fucking disgusting. <laughs> runic uh, fountain. That feel spell is insane. They, it lets you play quick, please, from your hand. Hello. <laughs> I swear, nowadays, if you want to be a meta archetype, you have to break some game mechanic. You can't just, you know, have a combo or something like that. Like, you literally have to break a game mechanic. Kashtira, block your zones. Uh, runic, place from your hand. Feels spell. Whoa, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Sons of Tistina, Purelli, Shareli, or... Wait, Sherlight. Or I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm going to say Sherlight. Sherlight. I do like that most of the Purelli cards are common, so... That's kind of nice. Gaia Blaze. Oh, let me. I do like to see these at the end. We got Over Exaggeration. Cuckoo Commander. All Commanded. Emergency. And sm small, small Scuffle. Is that IP Mascarina? Yes, it is my IP Mascarina. And then we have very nice. What is it? Sinful Spoils of Subversion. Snake Eye. Yeah, this art is sick though. Look at that. Looks like the Eye of Sauron or something. It's just sucking them in. Target one face up monster on the field. Place it face up and it's what? What the heck is that kind of removal? I mean, I'll give you that. It's I, I feel like it's one of those <laughs> more unique ones. So, but I feel like a lot of monsters nowadays have protection from targeting. Them, so maybe kind of hard to pull off, but. Hey, if it if the monster just says can't be destroyed or banished, then you're pretty much set. Behemoth, Valiance, Unchained Soul, Wheel Synchro, you're finished. What the heck? What is this? Oh, it's not from Archetype. I thought it was from Archetype. But I was going to say that's actually a pretty cool art. New World Stars, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, or Scarecrow, nice. Scrap Iron Sacred Statue, Doom Star Ultra, or Olka. Continuing Epic of Charles, that's in our uh, Noble Arms, or Infernoble, yes. And then the last two packs, shouldn't be anything too crazy. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me. That's cool. I am curious, how many of you guys play uh, Master Duel? I'm guessing most of you guys don't, or... Because, yeah, I feel like if you play TCG, uh, that you wouldn't really want to play as much Master Duel, because you... You already have most of the cards, or, you know, the cards you want, the deck and stuff, so I don't think you would want to spend on them again. Maybe you can build different decks, though. I don't know. What the heck? Did you get another Ultra? Why did I get four? I mean, I'll take it, but... What? <laughs> I thought you only got three. Uh, Stardust Worm, Click and Echo, Synchro Overtop, and Pseudo Somagus, or Somarus, or Somarus. I don't know why I struggle so much with that one. Yeah, I think I got three, right? Yeah, the Demi, this one, the Field Spell. I completely forgot the other one. Nice. All right, let's open the last pack. Maybe the Starlight is here. <laughs> kind of doubt it, but yeah, man can dream. Cool. Go start. Nice. All right, wish me luck, boys. This is the last pack. Evil tile. I did get a bunch of this one similar to the royal, I guess, spoilers since I didn't upload it yet, but I will upload them after this since I did already miss the week. So I figured, you know, fuck it, I might as well focus on Yu-Gi-Oh! and some other ones. I'm not going to spoil those, but and some other ones I got. Scrap Iron Sacred Statue and Small Scuffle. Nothing too crazy, but hey, it's all good. We did get our two secret, I mean, you're kind of guaranteed two secrets, but I think I, they were pretty cool. I mean, I didn't read the runic one. I'm not going to, don't worry. It's, it, it does look pretty long, but let me know if it's good or not, you know. Hey, if you're into Runic, you let me know if your deck got an upgrade or not. Let me just go through my top three really quick. Since I didn't sleeve them, I'm kind of trying to limit myself, but okay, let me do this. And where's the demigod? Oh, here. No, 
sorry, where's the sorrow and I? Okay. So number one is the sinful eye of sorrow. I'm oh, sorry. The sinful spoils of subversion, snake eye. I don't know. I just think it's a pretty cool art. And I think it's actually a pretty unique form of uh, removal. It being a unique spell, though. Uh, unique spells are pretty hard to play unless they're essentially broken just because you can't search them. So I don't know if it has a, you know, viable future or not, but still pretty unique. I think it's, you know, it could be kind of fun. Then we have uh, Sleepner. What is this based on? What the heck? I don't recognize this creature. How many legs does it have? <laughs> Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like a spider horse. What the hell is going on? Anyways, uh, a runic monster. I just think runics have such a cool design, especially the... I don't know, I just think that the spells mainly, I actually prefer the spells than the monsters. That I really like how the spells are like first person, you know, perspective. Like runic destruction is like a dude punching a wall. It's like you're punching a wall, supposedly. I think it's kind of cool. And the last one, you know, not to make this too long, 26 mana, that's pretty good for 24 packs. Uh, the last one is going to be Demigod of Tistina. I just think, you know, Tistina, new archetype. I like when they introduce new ones. And, hey, it does seem to have a lot of support. So, hopefully it's decent. You know, new archetypes usually aren't that insane. Unless Konami decides to, you know, just go all in, like, catch deer and stuff. But, hey, usually it does take them some time to build the archetypes. So, hopefully with this one, they start off, you know, not too crazy. Hopefully they'll learn from catch deer, But they give them enough support to make them, you know somewhat viable and they don't have to run a bunch of cards just to supplement because they don't have you know enough cards or something like that but all right thank you guys so much for watching uh, i'm gonna cut this one off here thank you uh, please like comment subscribe you know all the algorithm stuff really does mean a lot and help me out a lot you know your channel and all that i'll try to record well, i don't know how many of duelist nexus probably at least two more i'll do i will try to make at least three parts i don't know four I don't know how people feel about <laughs> watching four of my same openings. So we'll see from there. Probably three. But all right. Thank you again. Uh, hopefully I'll see you around. If you're again into Yu-Gi-Oh! Hey, definitely make sure to stay tuned and see ya.